Good morning, everyone. On this Monday, in the seventh week in Ordinary Time, we have been, uh, last week we began in the book of James, and we're still working through uh, the book of James. Uh, And on today, on Monday, we begin in chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. Beloved, who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show his works by a good life in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Wisdom of this kind does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is, first of all, pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good works and good fruits, without inconsistency or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Like I said, James is filled with really good nuggets of information on here. And the context of this, uh, just before, was the qualifications for someone who is to teach in the church. And so the qualifications is very interesting, what he says. Notice that it's not really looking at how intellectual the person is, but more about the character of who the person is. Very interesting. And and I think it, it probably for any one of us, if we're in some sort of role of helping someone else out, uh, that this would be also our characteristics. So he says, the kind that is from below, in other words, not from God, is going to be filled with jealousy and selfish ambition. That's interesting, isn't it? The opposite is one that has humility and works by a good life. In other words, you can see it. Everyone can see it. And that's true if we're a parent or if we're a teacher in school or whatever role we may be in instruction, that a lot of things are caught, not taught. And so uh, how are we doing in our lives? That's the important thing. And then he goes on to say what characteristics wisdom will have. Pure, peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good work fruits. These are all things that are are, should be a part of the life of a believer, all of us as believers, as we provoke one another unto good works. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon and enjoy the President's Day. Bye for now.